This is how you can make an embed creator command with discord.js version 14. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I just want to say that memberships are available on my channel. You can get them by clicking the join button next to my username or clicking the link in the description. If you buy the super tier or the god tier, you will get access to paste bins, meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website so you don't actually have to type it out. If you purchase the custom bot tier, you will get access to paste bins, but me and my team will also code you a personalized custom discord bot. If any of this seems interesting, to you go ahead and click the join button or the link in the description and let's go ahead and get started so we can go over to community and we can create embed creator.js just like that in here we're going to go ahead and start off by defining a couple of things so we can do const we'll do slash command builder and we can do embed builder and then we can do equals require and we'll get discord.js just like that now we can do module.exports equals and open this up data new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name and this will be embed creator then we can set a description and in here this creates a custom embed just like that then we can go ahead and add a few values so we can add string option we'll do option arrow function option set name and in here we're going to go ahead and get our title we can set a description for this title and the description is just going to say this is the title of the embed now we are going to go ahead and set this one to required so set required make this true now we can go ahead and actually copy this we can go ahead and paste it down here this is going to be our description and we can change this to the description of the embed we're going to keep that true as well now we're going to go ahead and paste it one more time we're going to say this is the color of the embed and we're going to replace this we're actually going to go ahead and say use a six digit hex code for the embed color now we are going to go ahead and set a max length so we can do set max length and we can go ahead and put in six so now we can actually go ahead and copy the one above it so we don't get that max length we can go ahead and paste it down here this is going to be our image and we're also going to set this to false as well now we can paste this again and in here this is going to be our thumbnail and we're going to change this to false i am also going to go ahead and edit this so this is the image of the embed and we can say this is the thumbnail of the embed. So now we can go ahead and do this again. This will be our field value name. And for the name, we're gonna go ahead and say, for the description, we can say this is the field name, just like that. Then we can go ahead and paste it one more time. We're gonna say field value. And we can go ahead and say this is the field value, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and set this to false, and I'm also going to go ahead and set this to false as well. Lastly, we can go ahead and get a footer, so we can copy and paste this, and we're going to change this to footer. Now we can say this is the footer of the embed. We can add a comma. We can come down here and say async executes. We're going to go ahead and get our interaction, and then we can go ahead and open this up. Now in here, we're going to go ahead and get our options. So we can do const, and we'll do options, and then we can do equals interaction. Now we can come down here and get a bunch of things. So we can do const title equals options that gets string, and in here, we're going to get our title string. Now we are going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So we don't have to type it all out again because this is going to take a while. For our title, we can do description, and in here, we're going to get our description. We're we're gonna go ahead and paste it again and we're gonna go ahead and get our color and we will get our color in here as well next we're gonna go ahead and get our image so image we will get our image and then we can go ahead and paste it we're gonna go ahead and get our thumbnail and in here just like before we're gonna get our thumbnail now we're gonna paste it again and this is going to be our field name so field n and we will get our field name and we're gonna go ahead and make the pipes which means or and we're just gonna put an empty string in there uh, then we can go ahead and paste it again and this is gonna be our field v for value we'll get our field value and we're going to do the same thing with the pipes and empty string just like that now we're going to go ahead and get our footer so we'll paste it and we'll get footer and in here we can go ahead and get our footer and we're going to go ahead and make this an empty string as well so now we come down here and say if image we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say if no image dot starts with we can say http we can go ahead and return await interaction to reply. We're gonna go ahead and say content, and we can say you cannot make this your image, and we can make this informal just like this. Now we can actually go ahead and copy this. We're gonna go ahead and paste it down here, and we're gonna make this our thumbnail, 
and we can say if thumbnail starts with and then we can say you cannot make this your thumbnail we can come down here and we can say const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a title for our title we're just going to pass in our title we can set a description and that is going to be our description we can set a color and in here we're going to go ahead and put some ticks so we're going to go ahead and say zero x and then we're going to go ahead and pass in our color next we can come down here and set an image and our image is going to be image and we can say thumbnail and that is going to be thumbnail now we can go ahead and say timestamp and that will be blank and we can add fields in here we can get our name and that is going to be field n and we can do comma and we'll get our value and in here we're going to go ahead and get our field v just like that now we can make a footer so set footer in here we can do text we're going to go ahead and get our footer. We can do comma icon URL. We're going to get interaction.member.display avatar URL. And here we can go ahead and get dynamic. And we're going to make this true. So that's all we actually have to do for our embed. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and send it to the channel. But first we need to make a simple response with an informal message. So we can do it with interaction to apply. We can go ahead and say content. And we can say your embed has been sent below just like that. And we can make this informal. And we can go ahead and actually send it. So we can do await interaction.channel send. We can do embeds. And we can go ahead and pass in our embed just like that. With that, we are actually done with the embed creator command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So we can run our slash embed creator command just like that. You're going to notice that it says we have to input our title, description, and color. And the reason for that is because we do actually have to have a baseline embed. So we can go ahead and input all that information in. So first, it's going to be the embed title. Then we can make it the embed description. Next, we're gonna put in a six digit hex code. So you're probably gonna to have to Google this to get the exact hex color you want. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a couple of random numbers. Now we're gonna go ahead and leave everything blank. We're gonna test this out with more information later. So we can just go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's gonna say your embed has been sent below. It's gonna go ahead and say the embed title, the embed description, and it's gonna go ahead and give the timestamp. So we can do embed creator again. We can do the embed title. We can do the embed description. We're gonna go ahead and just get a random color just like that. Now we can go ahead and get the image. And so the image, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the ASCII logo because I have that already. We can go ahead and paste it in there. We can also go ahead and make that our thumbnail. We can get our field name test and we can get our field value test. And then we can go ahead and say, this is a footer just like that. Now we can go ahead and actually send all this information. And as you can see, it's going to say your embed has been sent below. It's going to go ahead and give me the title, the description. It's going to go ahead and give me the thumbnail and the image, as well as saying the footer, the values, all of that stuff. Now let's say I put in an invalid image. So we do embed creator again. We say title, description, color. We just pass in a couple of numbers. Then we go ahead and put an image like um, I don't know, this is an image. If we go ahead and send it, it's gonna say you cannot make this your image because obviously it's not an actual image that will go into the embed. Now this would be the same if we were to do embed creator, say title, description, pass in a color. And let's say we were to choose a thumbnail this time and we put in some letters there, it's gonna say you cannot make this your thumbnail. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.